Mega Man. I like it. Just like that. That's me! <laughs> I'm here to light up your life! <laughs> nice of you to drop in! I like my targets at close range! Let's go back to the 80s, again. The game market crash and Nintendo save the day. Of course, Capcom was doing their thing too. Their shining star Mega Man was on top of the world. Had a ton of games, and of course, an awesome toy line. But who are we kidding here? We know you guys are here for the figures. Ah. Of course, this fame led to an animated series produced by the infamous Ruby Spears Company. Oh boy. Known for great writing such as this. Not a chance, Fancy Pants. Of course, doing a show in this style was a great indication that they messed up. Leading to the show's eventual cancel and decline in figure sales. Go figure. Once again, these figures weren't a bad move. Everybody wanted a piece of Mega Man. As I explained in the Series 1 video. If you didn't, watch the Series 1 video. Capcom went to Bandai and asked them for help with the production of the American TV show's action figure line. Now, as we all know, Bandai produced the figures, but I'm still not sure if Capcom and Ruby Spears went to Bandai after the show's production started, or if Capcom and Bandai already had the partnership going and knocked on Ruby Spears' door. You know what I'm saying? Eh, just know it was done. Bandai! The line consisted of 5-inch action figures and 2-inch minifigures. We only gonna focus on the 5-inch ones. The packaging is exactly the same as Series 1. These guys are about 4 and a quarter inches tall, and are made from good old plastic. The articulation consists of a full head rotation, a hinge joint in the arms, as well as a full rotation, a ball joint on the legs. It can only swivel though. Some figures can only move their arms and up and down, probably because of the levers they're built with. And some figures have hinges in their knee joints. Go figure that. Now the set of the five inch action figures were divided into two series. I already did a review on the series one action figures, so check that out first. Now let's focus on series two. So, Series 2 included Snake Man, Bright Man, Drill Man, and of course, Elec Man. Still just Mega Man against all the Robot Masters. Well, now Series 2. Since we already did these guys in the last review, let's move on to the next set. Yeah, let's start with Snake Man. Now the Snake Man figure looks really cool, but looks more like the Ruby Spears version. Does it really look like Snake Man does on the game? They thought it would be a good idea to make his eyes, um, like... <laughs> yeah. And he's got a whole snake tail on his head that you can twist around. And it's because of his tail that his head can't rotate in any direction. Try as you might, but it's not happening. He's also got these snake mouth and teeth. It's just all around Snake Man from the show. And he comes ready with his one cannon on his left arm that of course looks like a snake too. He's got this switch that you press after injecting this snake weapon locking it into place. The package even gives a good illustration of how to put this in and fire it. So let's give this baby a test run. Let's hit the switch. Wow. This is how it looks on the show. It looks pretty fierce, and it really does a lot of damage. Me, mega punk. No, I didn't, Snake. Next is Bright Man. Oh. Now let's get a good look at Bright Man. I don't know what Ruby Spears was thinking, but they done fucked you up, dude. For some reason, they opted for a design of a more square torso and gave up the round one. It looks fucking stupid. Why does he have this fucking chubby ass face thing going on? Like, no articulation, or at least barely any. It's limited. He also comes with his own built-in cannon and this light bulb that goes right into his head. Take it from his head, yeah. And you put it in the cannon. And there you go. Shoots right out with the switch. Hey, Mega Man! Oh god, why does that look like that? Bright Man! That's me! <laughs> and I'm here to light up your life with 10,000 watts, that is! I can't! I can't either! I really can't either. Okay, let's see who else we got. This is Drill Man. Now, Drill Man here has a nice theme, and he looks very menacing. He has a lot of drills, of course. I just wish the one on his head spun around too. Both his arms and legs have some basic limited rotating articulation. He looks like he does on the show, who has a projectile on his arm, which is a drill. As you can clearly see right here. The drill! You can remove the drill and inject it right into his arm. 
and shoot it right out. Yeah. Of course, on the show, it's always a different story. Now, lastly, we got Elec Man. He looks exactly kind of like Elec Man. Just more like a Ruby Spears version. Goofy. He has the same build as Mega Man, Proto Man, and Cut Man from Series 1. So he's the only one in the second series that has a good amount of articulation. On the show, he shoots electricity out of his hand. Mm -hmm. But on the figure, his forearm comes off. It's relegated to another interchangeable cannon. Yeah. But unfortunately, I don't have this piece. Ah, <sighs> oh, boo-hoo. Let's use our imagination. Whoa! How did you get those? Ha! Ah. Shoot it! Nice! All right. Okay, nah, chill out. Clearly that wasn't gonna end up working out, so I actually got the piece. Here it is. Now, where was I? Oh yeah. Take off the forearm piece and switch it in with this nifty cannon. Yeah, right in there. And then put in this piece right here, which is the uh, electric projectile. Yeah, the cannon and projectile. Shoot that baby. And of course, it's always a blast to shoot these things. I have too much fun doing it. One more of a shot. Damn me, like man. Shit. So there's all four bots from Series 2. They're freaking awesome and cool, just like Series 1. You can mix and match these guys as well. Well, no, I kind of lied. You really can. Most of their cannons or weapons are stuck on them. Except for Elec Man. Of course, Mega Man can use Series 2 weapons as well. And the Series 2 robots can use each other's weapons too. Well, all except Drill Man. He cannot use anyone's weapon aside from his own drill. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Poor Drill Man. That's because his cannon is built into his arm in such a way that he really can't put anything in it. Unless it's his drill. He is committed to his drill. Now, these robots are freaking awesome. The designs are great. And I just love looking at them. They're all colorful and awesome. And they pretty much go with the Mega Man figures very seamlessly. All of them are very unique in design and just look cool. So these figures, they also hold a somewhat special place in my heart. Not as much as the Series 1 ones, <laughs> one ones, because I didn't have any of these. Now, on the Series 1, I only had Mega Man and Guts Man when I was younger. But now that I have all of them, I'm still gonna say these are equally just as cool as the Series 1 figures. They're all cool. They all are colorful, they're fun, they're groovy. They're just all around radical? I don't know, I've lost for words here. But you got one Mega Man figure, they're pretty much all the same from this series. Ooh, there's also one more thing included in series two. I almost forgot. Here it is. Mega Man's Air Raider. Hmm. Now the Air Raider here belonged to Mega Man, right here. But it was included in series two. Whatever, still belonged to Mega Man. But any figure could pretty much use it. Well, the ones I could fit in there. The ones that had the Mega Man, Cut Man, Proto Man, and Elec Man build could fit in the air raider. The other ones, eh, not so much. I mean, Sick Man ain't getting in here. Look, look at this. Look at that shit. Just look at that. Look at it. You know, Guts Man ain't getting in this. Sh look at this. Oh my god. That's not happening. So, basically, the air raider was pretty cool. It's supposed to fly, but obviously it didn't. He could, um, roll on wheels and also shoot this missile right here. By this button on the side right here. Pretty dandy. Not much else to say about it besides the cool colors and the fact that they felt the need to print Mega Man's Air Fighter on the side right there. Now, I don't know why the hell they did that. That made it really corny and super cheesy as hell. Especially since on the box it clearly says Mega Man's Air Raider. That's some dumb shit. Talk about some serious miscommunication. But eh, branding, marketing, Advertise? I have no clue. So here are all the figures that were released from the Mega Man Ruby Spears 5-inch action figure line. Ooh, all of them. Look at all of them. They look pretty grand. They're all awesome. Stellar. I know. I, I use a lot of description words. A lot of adjectives <laughs> in my vocabulary. It still doesn't take away from the fact that I love these figures. And they're freaking great. And you'll love them too. You got Series 1 over here, and then Series 2 right here. Now, of course, nowadays there are tons more figures, and we have the accessibility to get astronomical amounts of varieties of Mega Man figures. Yikes! But that doesn't mean these don't have a specific charm of their own. 
I mean, these are just ridiculously chock full of 90s corniness and goodness. Ah, now. And that pretty much rounds up the series two Mega Man. Oh yeah, that's right, commercial. <laughs> oh wait, there was no series two commercial. <sighs> like I'm in the world of Mega Man the Animated Series. Nice of you to drop in. I like my targets in close range. Bright man, that's me. <laughs> and I'm here to light up your life. Drill man. Your wish has been granted, Blue Dweeb. And that pretty much rounds up series two of the Mega Man Ruby Spears action figures. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed my Mega Man Ruby Spears 5-inch action figure review. Ooh, say that five times fast. No, don't. That's the completion of the Mega Man Ruby Spears figures. Or is it? Ooh. And keep collecting. Right guys? But you'll better say nothing. I'm gonna bust your circuits! Not that little bro! <laughs> 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 well, here I go! Let's go! I'm here to finish you off! <laughs> Blue Dweeb Mega Dweeb Snada Say adios Adios Hey Mega Man Take it fast Mega 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 Hey guys, thanks for watching. 